Well, good morning. It's uh, Thursday morning here in Okinawa. As you can see, it is uh, not a very sunshiny day. It is overcast and cloudy like it's been pretty much all week. You know, both Wes and I have been here a few times. We've seen all the sites already. I, I kind of wanted to film some of them, but well, we're just yeah, we're ready to go home. Since we know we're leaving tomorrow, just, there's always a point in the trip where you start to miss your bed and your daily routine, stuff like that. Alrighty, we just finished work and we stopped off at the little, uh, I guess it'd be a department store called ETC, which I can only assume means etc. because the place was filled with all sorts of crazy crap. Bought a few uh, little things. Um, some chopsticks for me, a little present for Dave, and a little present for my brother. And we're on our way back to turn into the uh, rental car. And then we're going to go out to dinner tonight with Lisa. Don't make fun of me because I'm making a video. <laughs> here we are at Sands by the Sea uh, for our last real meal here in Okinawa. Here with Wes. Here goes Wes. Lisa. We're going to eat some curry soup. Seafood on the way, so uh, as it comes out, I will uh, turn the video camera back on and record what we got. So we eat. Don't lie. It's fun. I'm getting hit on my, my website. <laughs> well, uh, there is my uh, filet mignon and my jumbo prawns. To give you an example of how big those things are, here's a fork. They're pretty big. Let's see here. What'd you get, Lisa? You got steak. It's meat. <laughs> What'd you get? Oysters and uh, steak. Oysters and steak. All right, so there we go. Time to enjoy some nice seafood. There's the giant Sam by the sea. Tiki man. Yep, that's me. I've had a few beers. Oh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> That was like a $50 meal. It was uh, not too bad. The prawns were a little weird. But hey, you gotta try something new every time you go somewhere. Well, uh, that's it for this little recording. It was a good night. Now I to get home. Stop by the convenience store, get some more beer, and have a good night and back. Well, good morning. It's our last day here in Okinawa. I'm getting ready to check out and head to the airport. I'm all packed up, ready to go. Let's see, I'm all packed up. And if uh, one little tip if I can give you for traveling is make your suitcases stand out, make it different. So uh, maybe we've had a lot of fun here today, or this uh, week I should say. Got to eat a lot of great food. Um, we didn't really see a lot of touristy stuff. We were pretty busy, you know, work, sleep, eat. What can you do? Um, we could have stayed an extra day and had all day today to go see stuff, but we'd rather go home and have a three-day weekend. So that's what we're going to do. So hopefully the trip goes well. I will start recording when we get to the airport. But we're in the hot airport at our gate, quick to go. Um, we got here just in time. The security line was huge. And uh, we got in just the very head of the line. So anyway, too long there. Got all our tickets, got the security. Got a little bit of a Starbucks to uh, end the trip with so we can have some caffeine. Because uh, we plan this right. We stay awake the whole flight. You know, we land like Saturday afternoon. We're actually going to le land a few hours before we leave. So if we stay awake, we can pretty much continue the rest of our day normal and then uh, sleep and then be back on schedule. It never happens that way. It's a long flight back to try to stay awake the whole time. So you normally sleep for a while. Well, we're in uh, Tokyo Airport, Narita. We had kind of a hard time getting through here last time, so we're kind of worried how it's all going to turn out. We're trying to get to our next flight. So we're going to the arrival section, and hopefully it'll find some find directions on how to get to the uh, departure section for internationals. <sighs> trying to walk at a brisk pace. We have plenty of time to spend a little bit of money and get something to eat. We're going to this long-ass plane. 
Well, I have to say, getting to the international departure gate was much easier than getting to our domestic connection flight, which was got here. Now we're walking the uh, aisle of high-end shops like Cartier, Ferrari, and Chanel, in hopes they're going to lure us to buy us expensive gifts for our wives. It's not going to happen. Sorry, Carrie. Anyway, we're going to go try to find some place to eat, run off to rest for yen, and go hop on a nice long 11-hour flight back to Chicago. I'll talk to you guys when I go find some food. Hello, we're in the airport in Sushi Bar. Trying to get some meat. Here we go. Saw some uh, nifty little shops on the way here. And if we have any cash left, we'll stop off and pick a few things up. Saw so, uh, a great little gift with ticker. So we'll see if I have enough cash left to get it for him. If not, I'll just take a picture of it and say, hey, next time you're in Okinawa, you'll we'll get it. So uh, just for my food. Well, there's our plane. We'll be uh, getting on soon. We've uh, got all of our uh, everything in order. We're way at the gate. We've eaten. Now we've got the uh, actual flight to do with Chicago. And I'm sure when we get to Chicago, we'll uh, be starving again. So we'll get some food there. And we got a later flight out of Chicago than normal, so we should have plenty of time not to rush, get off the plane, take our time to get there. Um, all in all, it's been a pretty successful trip so far, and uh, everything's been pretty easy. So, uh, at least getting this far. We'll see how it ends up when we get to Chicago. But we never really find too many problems in the U.S. airport since we can really speak the language. So, for now, I'm going to sign off, and unless something really interesting happens on the plane or something goofy happens, I'm not going to record because, well, you've seen it all before. So, I will see you guys in Chicago unless something fun happens. We're in Chicago O'Hare's airport again. It was a pretty uneventful flight because I slept all the way, which means I'm going to have a horrible time trying to reacclimate myself. It never fails. Every time you uh, fly international and you come back to America, you realize how rude the fucking people are here, how obsessed they are with their own person, and you could give a rat's ass with anybody else around here. Let me tell you. It's beautiful to be an American, I can tell you sometimes. Anyway, it's home. We have another uh, about an hour and a half, two hours, well, three hours to wait for our flight, almost. And uh, then we can get a flight home and drive back and be done. So, uh, so this will probably be the last uh, video for this trip because uh, there isn't much happened here. You guys all have been to St. Louis Airport before, so. Pretty uneventful trip on the way back. Kind of reminds me of Vegas. But I've never been to Vegas. This is what I imagined Vegas would look like. I'm uh, back in my car. It is the uh, trip is over. It's time to go home. It's been a long day. A long day. I got a few days at home and I'm off again to uh, Norfolk where my next installment, installment of this video series will take me. I doubt it'll be nearly as much to film or uh, nearly as exciting. It's uh, another U.S. city and I not doubt I'm going to go see much. But uh, we'll, we'll, I'll bring the camera along and if there's something film worthy I'll film it. And if there's not anything film wor worthy and uh, I might make something up. You never know. Anywho, this is a uh, me from the parking lot of the, I don't even know what brand of the parking lot I'm in right now, uh, the Super Park, and uh, time to go pay them my, my parking fee. Thanks for uh, coming on this trip to Okinawa with me, hope you guys have some fun, learn a little bit maybe, and uh, maybe you too will learn to uh, try new things.